Guten Tag und herzlich willkommen zum noch ein Video in Microsoft. Just kidding. This video is in English. Greetings. From inside the largest flying machine in existence at the time of its maiden flight almost a century ago. It's the DOX. This thing had 12 piston engines. The most any aircraft has had at any time in history. And this thing had a wingspan of 156 feet and the capacity to fly just about 100 people. It was a true marvel of German engineering. It required a crew of at least 10 to be airworthy, but obviously we're going to tweak that a little bit and see what it's like flying solo in Flight Simulator. Did you all see that passenger cabin back there? The detail and this flight deck, it's incredible. However, there's one con to this plane. If you want to start it at cold and dark, you will unfortunately have to spawn it at an airport in a parking spot on dry land. That means taking it over to a body of water with slew and dropping it in the water. It's a small inconvenience, but it's the only method we've got right now because there's no parking spots at water airports. It's worth it though. The startup is incredible. So in the flight deck, we're gonna go down to this middle quadrant and take a look at this box called Lotse. That means guide. We'll turn our anchor on and then our schleppboat, our tugboat. And let's go into our external view. And there it is. Pretty cool. All right, back on the flight deck, we'll open this back door here and head to the navigation room. Right there is our electrical master panel. We'll go ahead and switch our main battery on. You can see the voltage climbing right there. And then we're gonna head back to the engine control room. So we can see control systems for engines seven through 12 and one through six there, left and right. And we've made it to our electrical system panel back here. It's going to control our generators, the main and auxiliary. And down here on the red levers, we've got our fuel pumps, one through six on the left and seven through 12 on the right. The six red levers in the middle will be responsible for controlling lighting systems for the passenger cabins as well as our engine room. So here we are at the control systems for engines one through six. Feel free to take a screenshot here to help you with the startup procedure. You'll begin by turning the fuel mixture valve on the right side on, so it's set to open, and then switching that nebulizer valve on. Then you head over to the magneto switches and make sure those are all set to on as well. And then turn the compressed air valve on and unlock all of the ignition switches by flipping those tabs right underneath them. I've just turned the first one on, selected the first motor on the left there, and turn the manual start knob. So engine one is started, confirmed by the RPM dial right up here, and you pretty much just rinse and repeat. Same process, 11 more times. Important to note that when you go from engine three to engine four to take that second engine selector switch and switch it to four while switching the left selector switch to aus or off. And then it's the same process with engines four through six. So we've got everything set to betrieb and we turn the nebulizer and the selector switch to aus, head over to engine seven through 12. Nebulizers off for engines 7 through 12, and we're going to lock our ignition switches. Everything's set to retrieve, everything's off, back into the navigation room, and over to this control panel. We're going to turn all our lights on, and then honk our horn. Starter procedure complete.
really intriguing to imagine seeing something like this in the sky. What do you guys think about the DOX? And do you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see next? Be sure to leave a comment to let me know. It would be much appreciated. And like always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen!